only unto one free cup of comfort at a time. A family is raising money to provide a familiar drink in the unfamiliar and stressful environment of Lurie Children's Hospital. CBS2's Jeremy Ross explains the motivation behind the effort. Large hot chocolate. If this is how you start your day, if these kinds of beans are part of your normal routines, consider for a moment. This is not normal. When a calming cup of coffee seems so far out of reach. It's hard to be here. The best thing about coming to the PICU, PICU stands for Pediatric Intensive Care Unit, is the day you leave the PICU. It's the floor of the hospital where the kids are the sickest. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of hours that we have spent in this place. Throw that cup of coffee in and it makes everything a little bit better. Just put it behind them. Before we tell you about the plans Carolyn Koppel has brewing, you'll need to know about her son. Aaron Cobb. He has braces on his feet. He doesn't uh, communicate. It's a rare metabolic genetic disorder. Through the years, Aaron has undergone more than a dozen procedures. His health struggles sometimes surfacing at night with his mom and family members at times struggling to stay awake. Cafe late? But too worried to go far enough to get a needed cup of caffeine. What if your child is in a critical stage and you don't want to leave the floor? Sometimes they're just too scared to go. And that's when an idea began to percolate. Well, why can't I write Keurig? Corporate donation and hospital permission. Eventually served up Aaron's Coffee Corner. The station was up and running in October with hopes of expanding. Try and get it on every great room here. I think it would be great if it was on every floor. The fundraising is to manage the machine, so we need somebody to kind of, uh, yeah, hi, baby. So far, the family has collected more than $24,000 to keep coffee pods and cups in supply and keep families in calamities decompressing with decaf or other varieties. Starting to be part of the tradition and the social ritual of the families. It's a great opportunity for us to give back and it's a living legacy for Aaron. Doctors said Aaron would not live past age three. Now at 13, his family wants to make sure his name is grounds for comfort and caring for years to come. He's not long for this world, but he makes the most of it and our family makes so well the most of it. It's a tangible, joy that you can give somebody. Jeremy Ross, CBS 2 News. If you'd like to learn more about the fundraising, visit our website, cbschicago.com.